the house of the Capulets. The father and the mother talk about their daughter, and that they should already seek their love, and then marry them so they can continue with their lives. In the place also was Samson, the servant with more confidence. Populate, I think it's time to our beloved daughter Juliet to lose love reigns. I've been thinking about that, my beloved. In fact, the Count Paris will be the one who calls him up. He's a good boy, and I invited him to the party tonight. Then I will give the news to our daughter. With all due respect, my gentlemen. I think you should let your daughter choose who to marry. It's a good idea, but we should think about the general family we are going to be. If you do that, you will be doing evil, and you will pay it with a very high price. But it will be what you say. In the facial of the house is Julieta with her mother's aunt, who are looking at the family. Find the love of her life and be as beautiful as these flowers. You'll get them. Surely the love of her life is thinking. The saints of this moment. <laughs> this garden is full of houses, but you are the most beautiful, my beautiful father. Mother, I want to find love. I want to know love. Well, at tonight's party, you will fall in love. And it will be Count Paris who will do it. Go back, Count Paris. On the other side of the city, a few hours after the party, the two dancers, Romeo and Mercurio, were preparing. Then they would dance that night as entertainment at the party of the Capulets. With them was Benvolio, Romeo's cousin, helping them prepare. <laughs> At tonight's party, we must dance without wings, my dear friend, my caution. We will dance well so that they will pay us with what we do. Remember, we are dancers who entertain the world. I know that, but the that class of that prevents from having a little fun. A friend of mine is like us, so there will be a lot of Romeo, remember. That Juliet is the daughter of the Capulet, great enemy of yours, the Montagues. Do not take my hopes away from your friend. I think it's so fascinating we should not have any mistakes. Our family is the enemy of hers. I keep saying that this is the only I'm only advising you. It would not be a good idea to join a happy life, but I will not take your crazy hopes. Without hope, we will remain if we do not leave soon. I only give you one piece of advice. Better not get in where you do not belong. So you will avoid big problems and in turn avoid great tragedies, my friend. Romeo, unable to contain the jealousy 
to hear those words addressed to his beloved breaks to shout. Tybalt fights with Mercury and finally kills him with his sword. Romeo, seeing this, says goodbye to his great friend, swears immediate revenge and takes his sword. Begins to fight with Tybalt, managing to kill him instantly. Romeo is taken from the place. The Count Paris, Juliet, and the Capulets take shelter in their house out of danger. Juliet runs to the garden. Romeo sees her and tries to get into the garden too, and that's where he sees her. My beloved Juliet, I have secretly loved you since the beginning of our days. Our friend seems quiet, but you and I were destined to our eternal love. Oh, Romeo, where have you been this all eternal time? You are my gardener in my garden, but how will we be together? We will marry, my beloved, Ken, and let's go now. Fray Lorenzo will marry us, and will we flee? Romeo and Juliet escape from the garden and go to the house of Fray Lorenzo to be married. Father, Fray Lorenzo, we ask you to marry at this time. But how to do that, Romeo? Your families are enemies from beginning of all time. Fray Lorenzo, we ask. This is impossible, but something tells me that you love it is possible. I do not find what to do. You are very brave to do all this, Romeo. You know that two families has to be. And even so, you want to give your life to your beloved Juliet? I have nothing else to do. If your love is true, then I will. The Capulet and Ama find out that Giulietta escaped with Romeo to Fray Lorenzo and that they plan to marry. They call the Prince of Verona Scala and they appear in the house of Fray. With the powers that have granted me, you are banished from Verona. For all the deeds that you have committed, enough for the quarrel in your family in the Capulets. That's enough. Since you killed Cuba Capulet, you're banished. You cannot do that, please. Hey. The love is real. I already did. If I did not, their families will be plunged into the tragedies of so many consecutive deaths. The Capulets leave the place along with Emma and Juliet. The prince lives and Romeo is on the floor, without strength next to his friend, Fray Lorenzo. Juliet, come right now! Come on, come. Juliet, come to After a few days, Juliet escapes with Emma towards the house of Fray in which the mother of Romeo was Mrs. Montaglio. Once there, they organized to carry out the plan to rejoin Romeo. Lorenzo, please help me! This is a total madness, Juliet. Do not do it! Whatever you will do, please do it for the love that my son feels for you. Do not make him suffer more. Your family are our enemies, but you two are not to blame for it. Your love is sincere. Tell me what to do for you. Please, do for Romeo. And I will to take a course. I do not want to get into more problems, but I'll do them. Then, I will. Juliet goes to her house takes the supposed poison and falls to the ground. The Capulets see her and suffer for her loss. They take her to the mausoleum. On the other side of the pond, Fray Lorenzo gives the news to Romeo, who returns to Verona, and this quickly 
seeing that the capulets are no longer in the mausoleum, enters the same to see his beloved. The Count Paris and Romeo fight to death. Romeo being the winner, he returns to see his beloved, sees the poison battle, takes it and runs to the exit of the mausoleum, drinks it and dies to the seconds. wakes up from her dream, run quickly to see her beloved. To the place of the facts, the Capuleto arrives with Amma. Also comes the Mrs. Montagio together with her husband Montasco and Fray Lorenzo. for all eternity. Due to all these events, the two families decided to make a truce and reach peace and it was like the impossible love of Romeo and Juliet that brought together the two families separated by the years.